Hello to all you wonderful people, this is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me the time and your ear and uh, listening into another gig vlog. I'm out and about at the moment, but, well, this will be a day separated from when you guys actually listen to this, because, um, The up the date that this publishes to to be available for people is the day that my father passed away. It's the anniversary of it, and there's been a lot on my mind. And my father has definitely been one of the the subjects. This has constantly been in my head. And at the point, I find myself being pretty depressed about it. I've kind of just had that looming over me along with many other things. I've been just thinking about things that he would say to me, the type of advice he'd give if I had questions to ask him. And I know for a fact there would be things that he'd be disappointed in me about. I also know at the same time where he would express his disappointment he'd also try to find ways to help me get back to being myself fully he'd always have a suggestion of some kind and like even though I didn't always talk to my father when I had problems not having him there or be available just makes things that much harder. <coughs> this cough just won't go away. But I find myself thinking more and more. Just wish I could talk to him for just a few minutes. Just to get his overall opinion of this. like maybe his perspective will give me the clarity that I don't have then again it could also leave me with more questions but I know he'd try to help one way or the other It's just, uh, <laughs> admittedly, that I miss having them around a hell of a lot. And I think I kind of took it for granted <clears throat> while he was around. Not intentionally, but there's no way to really. fully, I guess, appreciate a person until you know they are not there anymore. You can't really appreciate <clears throat> the impact that they have on your life until they're gone. Like, and that's even if you spend a crap ton of time doing positive things and, and putting your energy into doing a lot of things with them, even if you spend a lot of time with them. Like, there's just no way you can fully appreciate how much of an effect someone has on your life until they're gone from it. And that's something that 
I honestly didn't understand. Now, I've had other family members who I've been close to pass away. And it still hasn't affected me the same way. And I know that that's part of why things in my life kind of just spiraled out of control is because I didn't <clears throat> see or know how big of an effect to just having Pop be around did for me. I really didn't. And it's like, after years of him being gone and having shut myself down <clears throat> fully in the emotional sense, because I guess I just didn't really want to deal with it, I'm still searching for answers. And the thing is, I feel like he could give me at least the right heading for those answers. It sucks. A lot. <clears throat> I think in the current position I am in my life, he'd be asking me what my plans are to rebuild everything, to get myself back on my feet. <clears throat> and what things am I gonna take, of, take care of to make sure that those things can happen? your focus is going to be and how are you going to get yourself to where you need to be and the first thing would definitely be making sure I have steady work um, and After doing that, <clears throat> well, I guess it would be taking care of many of the projects that I had postponed for myself or just kind of didn't put my energy into. And after that, try to reconnect a lot of the bridges that have been burned. Or I should say rebuild the bridges that have been burned. See, I can, I can Imagine how the conversation would go. Heck, I can even still hear his voice and how he speaks, the different reflections he uses, how he moves his hands about while he talks. I remember all of that, <clears throat> all of those details still in my head.
but even if I can tell myself what he would say or what he would do, still not the same thing as hearing it from the actual source. And that's what I'm missing there. That's what's lacking. But I'm not going to keep this going somber because the fact that he isn't here is one of the things that's going to be driving me to work better to improve myself overall. It was a slow start this year and a lot of things have happened. I think I'm headed the right direction this time. And I'm going to kind of use him as the motivation going forward. Because there's a lot of things I want to accomplish and I don't have an infinite amount of time to do them. And that was one thing he definitely would have pushed on is for me to start completing my goals in my life and to take care of things instead of procrastinating and waiting around to see what happens. So with that in mind, I'm going to be calling this uh, video to an end because there are many other things I have to put my time and focus into and right now being somber and sad isn't one of them and I know that's not something he'd want me to do. So, uh, thank you guys for just listening to me use and vent a little bit and just get these things off my chest. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be busy and moving on to try to do some better things with my life and get things back in order and then work on mending the relationships that I know are tarnished but thank you all for listening keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me and until the next time enjoy your life and peace out